Hey traders from around the world, it's me again, Ricky Cadden at Real Life Trading Australia, bringing you another real life stock review. And today was a super fun day because I got to run the morning room with Jeremy for Real Life Trading. Uh, so if you did get to catch me in the morning room, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, the session was recorded and if you would like to recap that session, I will be sharing it in our private Facebook group in the description below. So if you're not a part of that group and you want to check out that video, check out the description, join the group and check out that video. Here's the SPY. Uh, we, we only just created a little bit of a small bullish candle off the 10 EMA. Cute little candle inside day. This will be a really nice trade to play either bullish or bearish. If we get a nice gap down below, below the low of yesterday, uh, we'll be looking to take this thing short. If we get a gap up, uh, we'll be looking to take this thing higher. So SPY, not doing a whole lot. Great little pullback. And finally, some bulls starting to come back in. Here's the trade that I took on WBA today in the morning room. So I did have an entry, pretty conservative, pretty conservative play. I had an entry above the first five-minute wave, five-minute high wave candle, and a stop below. Got triggered in. There were some traders, however, that did get to catch this retest off the VWAP and go on and score one to two hours on those trades. So well done to those real-life traders who achieved that. Personally, I got out for a nice some some coffee money little 0.1 R trade for me. But WBA was a nice little trade for today. Here's Tesla on the daily, not doing a whole lot. We are still, We I did say last week that we would probably come down, retest the 50 again, and then maybe look to come a little bit lower. Um, I do want to get a few bears trapped, uh, but overall I am bullish on Tesla. So look for a nice little dip and then take this thing higher. We'll keep an eye on Tesla, but we realistically, we're just going to try and squeeze between these two, these two lines here and uh, break which way, bullish or bearish. I'm excited. Here's Square uh, posting a beautiful one white soldier candle after this nice little retest here. So if you aren't in Square long, here's your dip buying opportunity to go long. Um, I am in long term on Square, so looking to take this one to a hundred guys. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Looks really, really nice. Um, so SQ, beautiful inside day bullish candle, but looking to go higher. Here's MU. Closed my trade out yesterday at uh, closed my trade out yesterday for just over one and a half hour. Was a good little trade for me after earnings. I, the only reason I got out is because I bought my options pre-earnings. Um, so they were a little bit expensive. Uh, but I will be looking to get MU in, get back in on MU on a dip buying opportunity here. So keep your eyes on MU for a nice little dip to go higher. And WDC also did gap up higher than expected. So I ended up closing out WDC for a nice 5R gain. Um, so anyone who did get to take WDC bullish, just look to buy the dip on this one and you will get another chance to, to buy back in. Here's the all odds. The Aussie market's not doing a whole lot. We're kind of just consolidating a little bit here pretty much doing what the most of the broader markets are doing i am getting excited because we are getting close to the new all-time high um personally i wasn't trading back when we had the the gfc so i'd be interested to see what sort of news comes out in the media when we finally hit all-time highs because i'm pretty sure we're only one of the, we're one of the markets that did not we have not reached all-time highs yet so all odds just keep looking to buy the dips here guys we will reach all-time highs very very soon um, but all in all looking great here's telstra ticker symbol tls kind of just chilling at the moment on the weekly chart if i bring up the long-term moving averages we are smack bang in the middle of the 100 and the 200 um, my next target is going to be the 200 uh, the 200 simple moving average 
I do expect this to break out um, above this little pennant. If we look on the daily, I do expect us to break out of that little, oh, back to the daily. This little pennant pattern here. Um, but all in all, Telstra is looking good. If you aren't in shares already, um, I would probably still wait for a, you, you, you're going to get a better, better entry if we, if we go a little bit higher, I think you'll get another another opportunity to buy the dip on this one. Um, but if you do want to look at taking this thing long, that by that would be a really nice entry and stop level. Here's Oz Minerals on the daily chart. This was a nice little double bottom, and we have closed above the one. Oops, so we have closed above the 100 on the daily chart. If I take a look at the weekly, this was a beautiful dip buying opportunity. This was a beautiful dip buying opportunity off the 100. Um, so, personally, you, I think that you will be able to. If if we close below, if we close below the low of this candle, which is at 989, um, probably look to get back in at 962 because we are forming a little bit of a double top and we probably will retest and then slowly grind higher on Oz Minerals. But Oz Minerals looking really, really good. Just keep buying those dips. Here's Flight Center, ticker symbol FLT. On the daily, we have been resisting this 100 for a while. Um, but if you have a look at the weekly chart, Yeah, we're st we are we have created another nice little higher low here, and on the monthly chart, we did we are at the 100, well just past the 100 simple moving average. So long term, if you're looking for a long term buy and hold setup, now is the time to start entering some sort of position here on Flight Center. Um, but if you're looking for a short term play on the daily. I think you probably could get back in at about $40. $40 with a nice little conservative stop below 37. That would be a really nice trade. Here's Goodman Group, ticker symbol GMG, just being a good man. Uh, right here is not the time to buy, guys. Have a look on the weekly chart. We are forming a beautiful inverted hammer candle right now as we speak. So personally, I think you'll get a, a chance to buy the dip back at $13, um, but this will be a nice dip buying opportunity and it will probably coincide with the 100 uh, once we start to move back down. So GMG, look for a dip buy. Look for a dip buying opportunity on GMG, but right now is not the time to buy. Take a look at the commodities. Gold finally pulling back a little bit. It is a little bit volatile. I'm still waiting for a little bit more of a pullback, um, but definitely am bullish on gold, guys. So look to buy the dips on gold. Now, right now, if we close below this low here, I'll just bring up these Fibonacci's here from this last from this last wave. Um, yeah, so I'll be looking to buy the dip probably around 1380, 1379. That will be a nice time to start entering a position, kind of tiptoeing in, and then looking for a nice little push higher. If it comes back down to 1365, I'll definitely probably start to load up a little bit more on gold here's oil we have hit our trend line from the last three months once again and we're just chilling at the 100 and 200 simple moving average i do expect this thing to come down a little bit um, and then i'll look to buy the dip probably around 56 if we can get there uh, but crude oil Great move. A lot of traders making a lot of money on on oil. And last but not least, I'll just take a look at the Aussie dollar. So we did get this nice, nice bullish bounce 
from these lows. Um, keep your eyes, keep your eyes on a little bit of resistance coming in at the 100 and the 200 simple moving average. Uh, but this is obviously coming off the weakness of the US dollar. So if we take a look at the US dollar quickly, dot on the dollar index, doing pretty much exactly what Mr. Squiggles did. We did break down. So if we start to come a bit lower, obviously the, the, the Aussie dollar is going to come higher. Um, but personally, I think the, the DXY, if anything, will probably come down to about 95.19. And from there, I would definitely be looking to short the AUD USD. But that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. And like I said, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, it's in the description below. Check out that video from the morning session today. It was a lot of fun and I can't wait to do it again. Hope to see you all there. And until next time, love life, live life and trade it.